Good morning, guys. Joseph from The Oily Travelers. Hope you're doing well. Um, so one thing I've been working on really hard for the last month uh, is my fitness. Um, I'm out of shape, 50 years old, and I got two small kids, <laughs> and they're hard to keep up with. So that's just something I had to do. Um, and I didn't want to wait till the new year to start a New Year's resolution. I don't believe in those anyways. I just think that when you need to start something, you start right now. Um, so it's not much. I do about a 20, 25 minute walk, decent pace. And I come back and I do some exercises. So I'm just going to give you a little rundown of what I'm doing. And uh, I think the podcast I'm listening to today is on Side Hustle Show. Um, interesting little podcast. Always find talking about side hustles, basically working on exit strategies or plan B's, whatever you want. Uh, to get out of the corporate world because we all know that when you're a salaried employee you're always going to be a salaried employee so you have to get out of that if you want to live that dream life that you've been talking about for so long uh, okay so that's it i'm going for my walk and when i come back i'll show you the exercise that i'm doing i'm doing all right cheers All right, guys, so did my fitness, went for my walk this morning, did those exercises, as you can see. God, it's funny to watch in fast motion. Uh, pretty simple, uh, 30 jumping jacks, 25 push-ups, 30 bicycle crunches, and after that, I did the 20 lunges, 25 tricep dips, they're called. Um, then I did those burpees, some sort of burpee, full, half burpee, whatever you want to call it. Um, which oddly enough is the hardest thing I do of all the exercises. Uh, 30 second wall sit. <laughs> I was going to say 30 minutes. Yeah, that ain't happening. 30 second wall sit or a tire sit, whatever you want to call it. And then uh, I don't remember the name of the last exercise I'm doing. Basically in a push-up position and with your feet you just jump back and forth. Do that 20 times. Uh, harder than it seems. So that's what I'm doing right now. I'm doing that till the end of December. And when January comes around, my plan is still to do the same 20-minute uh, walk, 20-25 minute walk. And then that routine that I've been doing in Fast Forward there, do that twice. Uh, I do that every second day. Uh, it's not a set three or four times a week. It is just every second day. Uh, I've been holding it ever since. It's been going very well. I've been doing that for over a month. And, and I'm happy. I'm trying to take baby steps after baby step, after baby step, because this is not a huge thing that I'm doing here for my fitness, but I'm trying to create a habit. I'm trying to create a habit so that I do it and I do it and there's no hesitation. I'm doing it. I'm doing it over and over again. So hoping that these little baby steps, actually, I'm not hoping it's going to happen. These baby steps will turn into giant leaps and I'm going to get my fitness back in check. Um, do you know what? This is something that I've let go. I used to do tons and tons of sports when I was a kid and I have all the excuses in the book. Uh, they're all good excuses, but they're just excuses. Uh, I need to get healthier. I need to get more fit. I want to be around for a long time for my kids because you know that when you have kids, you're actually not even allowed to die anymore. So you have to stick around to be there for them. And honestly, I, I just want to look good for my wife. I want her to look at me and like, hmm, yeah. Um, so that is it. Where are you? Where are you in this? How's your fitness? Is this something you need to look into? Again, start with baby steps. Just go for a walk, a, a walk around the block. Do that for a week, three times. Every second day, do it like I was doing. Every second day, just do a walk around the block. And then the next week, do around two blocks. And then up three blocks, and then actually do a bit of distance. I don't wanna be doing longer, longer, longer distances. Uh, I wanna do about the same amount of time, maybe a little bit more next time. You know, a 20, 25 minute walk. I wanna get the body moving just moving and then come back and do exercises, uh, work a little bit on the cardio. Uh, the app I use to find uh, these exercises, is called a seven minute app or 7M workout, I should say, sorry, 7M workout. 
It's a little green circle. It's got a seven in it, seven minute. Um, and the reason why I chose these exercises is because I don't do it inside the, the trailer. I want to do it outside. Uh, and I, I'm looking for uh, exercises that I don't have to lay down in the wet grass. Uh, we're in BC right now. It is December. I was going to say November. Uh, it is December. Uh, everything is wet outside. Everything is very uh, humid. So I'm trying to do exercises that stand up. I'm trying to work my core. I'm trying to work my legs. I'm trying to work my arms and my chest. Just a little bit of everything. Do it. Baby steps. Baby steps. I know it's nothing incredible right now, but baby steps. What are you going to work on? What do you want for your fitness? You got to find a fitness dream. You dream big. Like what is your top dream of where you want to be? I've got that. I've got my dream of, of how much I want to weigh, what my body fat, my body fat is going to look like. I have all that. That's my dream that where I want to get to. Now I'm going to set goals that will eventually lead me to that dream. So my goal, and I've got a goal for 2021. I want to be at a certain weight and I want to be at a certain body fat. I don't even know how I'm going to figure that out because we don't have a scale here and I don't even know how to measure body fat, but I will figure it out along the way. Uh, I'm going to try and do a little check every season to make sure I'm on track. Because if I'm not on track, if I'm not losing enough weight to get to where I want to be, readjust. If my body fat is not progressing to where I want to go, readjust. Maybe it will be a 30 minute walk. Maybe it's going to become a 20 minute jog. Maybe instead of doing two sets of what I'm doing, maybe I'll be doing three. Readjust. There's nothing wrong with having goals that are set. But then as you're going along, you realize I'm not going to reach my dream if I keep going with these goals. Reassess and readjust from that point on. So if you wanted to lose 20 pounds, if you wanted to get to a certain weight number, start setting goals that will get you to reach that dream of where you want to be. Um, and those are just things that I'm learning along the way. Uh, like I've said, I've been doing a lot of personal growth in this past COVID um, pandemic. Oh, I'm not going to say pandemic. Pandemic. Um, things that I've been working on. I want to better myself. I want to be a better father, a better husband, a better um, friend. I want to be a better person. Uh, I'm here for a bigger purpose than just taking care of myself and being selfish. There's a lot of things that I want to do to help other people along the way. And the first place I have to start is taking care of myself. The first person you need to help is the person that you see in the mirror. What do you need? Where do you want to get to? And start setting goals to get you to that point. I'm here to help you. I will definitely give, a, not really advice, I will guide. I will help you, will help you set goals. Find it and we'll reach it together. We can do this. Uh, so that is that for the app that I've been using. Uh, the podcast that I decided to listen to, again, this is all part of personal growth. If I'm out for a walk, I want to have something going on in my ears to help mindset there's a, a great little podcast that i found it's called the mindset uh, mentor uh, with rob dial it's interesting i listen to him i listen to the side hustle show sometimes i listen to stuff that is absolutely nothing related to personal growth i'll listen to avalanche stuff locked on avalanche dnvr just listen to something i rarely listen to music i try to do that on downtime and um yeah that's that's what i try to do try to do something double productive. I'm doing something for my fitness and I'm doing something that will help me grow as a person. And this morning I woke up and I listened to a, a little meditation, 10 minute meditation with the Calm app, C-A-L-M. And um, yeah, it's, it's helping. I like having that relaxation just to get the morning going and then do a little bit of fitness, get the body moving, get going, get going, get going. And then you're a little bit more in gear to spend a good day and take care of, of other things that you can do that are very productive during the day. Um, I think that's it for now. Uh, I see, I'll see if I have anything else I want to come back and bring to the table, but, um, yeah, figure out what you, you are, your dream fitness is. And let's not forget that when we talk about dream fitness, it's not just your body, your look. It's also what's going on up here. Mental health is super important. It is important. And I know that, God, so many people are so hard on themselves where they don't take the time to take care of themselves. Sometimes you need to stop and take care of yourself. Whether it's going for a freaking two-mile walk, whether it's putting on a podcast for 30 minutes, whether it's going to sit in your car 
and telling your husband or your wife, whoever's at home, take care of the kids. I'm going outside for 20 minutes. Just take a little bit of time for yourself. And no, it doesn't mean going to the groceries, taking care of the groceries. That is not your two hours of your own time. You're still working for the family. You're not taking care of yourself. You have to take care of yourself. And that is just focusing on you, not things that will not part of your to-do list. Groceries, laundry, stuff like that. Take care of yourself. It's important, especially during these times. We know a lot, a lot of people who've been struggling with this COVID thing, uh, being stuck indoors, uh, staying away from people. And you know what? I'll be the first one to admit it. I miss hugging my friends. I haven't seen my parents in, in, in a, over a year, two years now. Um, I, I know it's not been two years with the COVID, but we were supposed to spend a lot of time with them this summer. And that didn't happen. So you got to find ways to work around that. Take care of yourself. Take care of your mental health. Take care of your personal growth. Take care of your fitness. That is one of the steps that we're going to be talking about in the very near future. Take care for now, guys, and we'll chat very soon.